What's up guys, I'm Rissim from RossMerdTech.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to update the RAM for your Lenovo Idea Center A720. Now I know you guys have probably been frustrated looking online for ways to update this uh, computer and you came across a brick wall or two. I share your frustration. So I did my research and I found that it is possible to, to update the RAM and you could also update the hard drive, motherboard, CPU and all that fun stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that but, but first. Uh, I decided to go with an eight gigabyte kit since my computer only came with six gigabytes and that's not enough. I got this from Crucial. It's a, a pair of four gigabyte DDR3, PC3, 12,800 modules. I'm gonna leave a link to this product in my description if you guys wanna pick it up for yourself. And also I'm gonna leave a link to a uh, hardware manual. Now the hardware manual does not come with the computer, but I'll leave a PDF link to the hardware manual and it shows you how to do everything. Now let's get started. All right, so the only tool you guys are really gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. You're also gonna need to lay the monitor flat down on a flat surface. I would recommend getting like a cloth or a piece of carbide so you don't scratch up your screen. You're gonna grab your computer, make sure all the cords are unplugged while you do this. You're gonna grab your computer and lay it flat down on the surface. Okay. Now we're going to come back here to the base of the computer. Now we got to remove about seven screws. Do not remove the screws over here. The only screws you guys are going to remove is this screw here, this here, this screw here, that screw here, this screw here, this screw here, and that screw. So that's about seven screws. So let's get started. Again, grab your Phillips screwdriver. Once you unscrew all the screws, make sure all the screws are in a safe place. You're going to put the computer back to its original place. Now you can lift off this cover here. Lift off the cover completely. Now once you remove the cover, over here, this is the RAM. These are the RAM modules. So they're really easy to take out. All you have to do is at the edge of it, you're gonna see this little uh, metal thing holding them there. You're just gonna open it up, open both sides up until it flaps up. Once it flaps up like that, See, it's flapped up. You're gonna just remove it. Really easy. Uh, there's another module there. Again, these little metal things right here, that's on the side. You just pull them out, outward until this thing flaps up. Once it flaps up, you just remove it. Really simple. Now we're gonna install our new mo RAM module. Now you should start with the bottom one first, which is this one here. And you're gonna make sure that this notch here lines up with that notch there. So again, all you have to do is make sure they line up. P press it in, not too, not too much, so it breaks. Once, once it can't go anymore, you just press down. You should hear it snap into place. Now let's install the second module. Again, we got to make sure that this notch lines up with this notch right there. Once that's lined up, you slide it in, slide it in, not give it enough force, but not enough to break it. Push down, and you'll hear it snap in. As easy as that. Now we're gonna put back our cover. So I'm just gonna slide the cover back on in place. Make sure it, it, it lines up correctly. I'll grab the monitor and put it flat on, on its screen. Now we can start putting back the screws. All right, once you're done screwing everything back in, you're gonna put, you know, lift it back in its place. All right, that was really easy to do. Again, I'm gonna leave a product link in this description for the memory, if you guys wanna do it yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, and also if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.